Hi there. Uh, welcome. Um, today we're gonna try the garage door opening. See how the sensor works. This is the this is the receiver sensor and this is the transmitter sensor. So you're supposed to align both, and when they align, the garage door open. And we're gonna try to figure out exactly how this works. So let's look at it. Uh, first, we're gonna have a garage door opening, two sensors and we're gonna have a meter so we can make some measures oscilloscope so we can look at the signal here um, a lot of test slip and let's do it first let's power the garage door we power the garage door with no sensors whatsoever let's take a look close all right the garage door is power, so we can, with the meter, we can measure the signal between 1 and 2. Oh, it's reversed. So between 1 and 2, we have 23. Twenty three point four volt and between two and three aha uh -huh. oh it's the word so between one and two positive one negative two we have almost twenty four volt now between two and three with positive on three we have six point three volt all right so in order to open and close the garage door you have to put a jumper between one and two so we do this and the garage door starts to work see what happened the garage the garage door went up now i'm trying to close the garage door and because there is no sensor connect here between two and three, it's not working. So when I try to jump it, to go up, to go down, it's the same doesn't get the signal from the sensor and coming back up again. If I press and hold it, keep it closed, it will close. So what I did is I, I hold it between N1 and 2, short circuit, and force the, the door to go down no matter what. Now, if I want to open the door, I just press the button, and the door opens. So basically, the door open, no matter what the position of the sensor. Now, in order to the door close, the sensor has to be on. If the sensors are now on, the door only with cloth if you hold the short sequence or you hold the, the door closed button between one and two. So now let's look at the sensor. These sensors have two wires and this one also has two wires. Hmm. One wire is all white. You can see here this is all white wire and this is a white with the black strip. So what we're gonna do we're gonna put in parallel. So we're going to take a white with white and put in parallel right here. And black with black and we put in parallel. Now, in order to make this to work, we're going to have to use a bunch of cable here. So we take the white cable. Let me see if I can get this right. Okay. And the white cable we're gonna put it to one. And the white and black cable, white and black cable, we're gonna put it to two.
Now, as you can see, the LED is on. This LED is on. All right, so this is the transmitter side. So the transmitter is sending the signal and the LED is on. See if I can see there. Yeah. Now, this is the receiving side. The LED is now on. But as soon as I line it, see, the LED goes on. This is the perfect alignment. I mean, you can complain about this alignment. The LED goes on. So, now the two sensors are aligned. So the garage start open and close should be fine. Let's try that. Close. Perfect. Open. Close the garage door. If I align it, it goes it back on and give me the error. So I try to close it. During the closing time, if I misalign the, the garage door, go back on. So I'm aligning the door. Now let's see what happened. Let's see what happened with the oscilloscope. Going to be very interesting. So let's look at the signal here. Let's see what is interesting with the oscilloscope. If we put the oscilloscope between one, between two, and three, So here you are. Let me see. So this is the reason why you cannot bypass the garage door open. Look at this. So we're sweeping one millisecond apart. So every one, two, three, four, five, six. Every time, every six and a half millisecond, the signal between two and three goes from high to low, it stay low for a half a millisecond, and go back up, and then it stay for one, two, three, four, five, for six milliseconds. So it takes me six millisecond high, and for for half a millisecond goes down. Now, if we dis disalign the sensor. What happened with the signal? The signal now is high all the time. As soon as I align, the pulse start again. It's align, no pulse. Align, there is a pulse there. So that's the reason why the garage door open and close. So basically what he does, he sends, he sends the pulse and as long as the pulse are there, it be able to open and close. When something goes in between the beams, break the beams and this, the poles disappear and the garage door open will now open and close. So by aligning these two devices you're gonna see that poles there. Alright that's the whole mystery why the garage door open and close. So the receiver the transmitter has an oscillator inside there, the same pulse, and the receiver detect the pulse and put in short secret and put in short secret one and two. So 
the five ball free the the tra free the receiver the transmitter the the transmitter is generated pulse and this pulse is 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 kept by the receiver and send it and send it back to the units by short circuit the unit. And that's basically the garage door open and closed. And as long as there are aligned, you see the poles. When the beam goes in between, something goes in between the two lines, the poles. So when you have it, when you have misalignment or a cherry unit, some of these poles, this is gonna disappear. And that's what's gonna give you the problem with the garage door open. Uh, well, that's everything. So now you know. There is a pulse there that allows the garage door open and close. No pulse, no signal. No pulse, no garage open and close. Pulse on, garage open and close. That's the basic. Alright, enjoy. Thank you.